when you're not knowing something, you're trying to find the meaning of it, right? That's what the life of the researchers start. We are trying to make sense of everything that we don't know. Since we were born until we are dead. The Turing Center for Living Systems, or Century, is located in Marseille. It is aimed at bringing together an interdisciplinary community of scientists to work on living systems. Our project is based on the principles that physics provides the necessary foundation for understanding how a living system functions. I think what's special about uh, the Turing Center is two things. I think it's where we do it. We are fortunate enough to be in an absolutely amazing campus. You know, for people who study a living system, we are surrounded by the most magnificent series yes. with uh, plants and uh, animals, you know, wild boars. Being in a place that is magnificent like that is a source of inspiration. The other is that I think we tried to foster a way of working together which is the complete opposite of a top-down hierarchical system. Probably inspired by the way that we see living systems, we are very much nurturing a bottom-up approach where we are trying to get the best, most creative people, uh, foster interactions and let them do the, what they find interesting. And that's the way to nurture that, that is probably our own characteristics. I think we live uh, today in biology what physicists have experienced one century ago with the development of statistical physics and quantum mechanics. Physics brings concepts, some of which are borrowed from soft matter and continuum mechanics. Physics brings tools such as microscopes to watch in living cells and to watch cells working together. Me as a biophysicist, I, I feel very lucky uh, being able to to work with a computer scientist because it's a kind of r rare uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, also it's kind of rare I mean uh, there's very few places where that's actually rewarded mm -hmm. instead of just publishing in your community and and you know doing doing that one thing right the really important part of, of it is that when you are developing a microscope or when you are developing methods to quantify uh, cell movements and when I am developing algorithms to trying to extract this information, it's important that we can discuss together to understand where does the algorithm fail, what can we do to fix that. And if we are not next to each other, if we cannot discuss together often, then it's really hard to put that in practice. And that, that can bring a new perspective yeah. to it and you know, hopefully we'll get, we'll yeah, get yeah, some, some of that too during the collaboration. That mm -hmm. we, That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Eighty-five percent of the people that applied to our calls are uh, from non-French uh, countries. The fact that we have so many international students and postdocs is really uh, the sign of uh, amazing attractivity of the Century uh, mm -hmm. Center. It shows, like, the it's both the environment and the quality of the research mm -hmm. that is bringing all these people on campus to work together. And I knew something about Century, so I was thinking, okay, it's interdisciplinary, it's cool. I don't know these things, I want to learn it nice, so why not? I was worried that they will ask about um, why you want to do so different thing compared to your PhD. And uh, there was no such question. They just accepted um, if I can defend or the idea that I proposed. And the third main aim of the Turing Center is to build a multidisciplinary uh, engineering platform where we bring together different expertise in computer sciences, also in the making of new equipment such as microscopy. We try to go as far as we can working on the project, but sometimes we have to ask help from uh, collaborators outside, it goes from uh, researchers to uh, students, PhD students, uh, and other engineers also. And so we do want to create an environment that brings these people together. They work hand in hand. Exactly. I think that's really the, the important thing. They are in the same adventure. We want to attract people who are ready for a big adventure, a fun adventure. What do you think? I agree. I mean, when we, have the, when we organize, for example, the summer school for engineering students, and I see these students that come for just two weeks, and within two weeks, they understand how much fun it is to be here, working here in this environment and, uh, and they want to come back.